All right, um, I was just going to point something out that I found on this intake manifold. This is for uh, an engine that's going into McNugget. I did a little work on the heads. They're a set of GT40Ps. But I went to put the intake manifold gasket on and see. And I noticed how far off it was. So what I had to do was to notch the intake manifold gasket right there where it meets that tab for the head. And now I'm able to push it over a little bit. So it's, it lines up better. Velcro is kind of notorious for that. I've noticed the... Uh, the gasket for the upper to lower split is a little off. It probably won't make any difference, but I'm kind of weird about trying to make it less substandard than normal. The right side gasket fit fine, lined up pretty decent. There's just very little overlap there. It was just the driver's side that had the issue. So uh, just something to point out to look for. And when you put the intake manifold down, Torque it down evenly side to side so the ports line up good. On a, uh, if you've got a stock GT40 Explorer or lower, you're going to have the, the ports on the intake are a lot smaller than the ones on the head, so you really don't have to worry as much about alignment. But if you get your intake ported by somebody like uh, T Moss, it's something to look out for. And on the upper to lower, this is a Felpro intake also, or in gasket. When you push it down, you can see you get the bolt holes lined up, and then you see that overlap there also. The Ford Motorsport gaskets you can get at Summit don't do that, so they got a much better alignment. But like I said, just something I wanted to point out to y'all, so you could be aware of it when you're putting intake together. Bye.